Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 14th to the 20th of December 2020 for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Aries. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching message or energy for the week. And I am going to choose this week because the cards are quite large. <laughs> okay, so what do we have for Aries, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for our lovely Aries. 14th to the 20th of December, 2020. What do we get for Aries, please? What do we need to know? Okay, message for Aries. 14th to the 20th of December 2020, please. So I have the Five of Swords here, Aries. So we have an unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. Wow. It's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Could be to do with people in your life. Let's pull the cards and see what we get. What do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aries, please. Angel Spirits Guides. I mean, the Five of Swords can also be a card of conflict. Negative thinking. So Aries, I'm going to pull four cards. The first card is you, your current situation. The second card is your challenge. Third card, advice from spirit. Fourth card is your outcome. And then we'll clarify the cards and go deep into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. What do we have for Aries, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Aries, thank you. Thank you. Okay. I've got the Knight of Wands and I have the Empress. I mean, that's beautiful. And that's your current situation. High Priestess is your challenge. Eight of Pentacles is advice from Spirit. And the Two of Pentacles is your outcome, Aries. So let's clarify the cards and go deeper into the message. What do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for our lovely Aries, thank you. 14th to the 20th of December 2020. Let's clarify the cards on the table for Aries, please. I'm using the... Gilded Tarot Royale and the, t and the Gilded Tarot. There's too many there. Okay, interesting. So we have the Six of Wands and we have the Ace of Swords. Page of Swords clarifies the High Priestess. Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, Aries, is clarified with the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands here. So I'm going to pull an extra card with this Five of Swords. Let's just get an extra card with this Five of Swords.
Okay. So I have the Five of Cups here to do with it's to do with loss. Okay. I mean, this kind of makes sense. The, the Five of Cups can be, I mean, I'll read this out. It's got focusing on the negative, things not turning the, out the way you anticipated, forgiveness of self or others, everything happens for a reason, look for the hidden blessings. That's what you're being told. This can sometimes happen when there's been loss. Um, and, you know, this can be about conflict or it's to do with somebody. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives. I feel, Aries, something's happened where you've been knocked and it feels by somebody who might not have been who you thought they were. It feels to do with money, career, business, I have to say, in this energy. They'll take it as you will. Um, it is a general reading. Um, yeah. So the, the Five of Cups can sometimes be an energy of looking in the back, past, caught in the past, regrets. Could I have changed anything? Could anything be different? I mean, we've had this conversation recently, actually, before. And there's a kind of feeling here that no, because somebody had dark energy. And I don't know whether they made it seem like your fault in this situation, but know that the energy that I'm getting here, it feels like you were truthful in this situation. You were who you were. Um, because the truth is on your side. The truth is on your side in this situation. So whether they made it out or whatever happened, some fallout or disagreement or bad feeling, it feels in this situation somebody had questionable motives or didn't have integrity. And it felt like you could see the truth of, of what they were doing. Yeah. But it's been difficult to move on from it. And that's that Five of Cups energy. You know, this is the mind, this is the heart energy, the, the intuitive energy. You know, it's, it's really kind of disrupted your internal energy as well as your physical reality, I feel, for some of you. But the good news is, I mean, even though there has been... You might have been, you might have felt that you've fallen off your horse here or someone knocked you off your horse. Um, there is an energy that there will be a victory. There will be a triumph with this Ace of Swords and um, can, can also represent breakthroughs. Victory, triumph over what this situation was. You felt somebody knocked you off your horse, knocked you off your power. I mean, call it what you will. But it definitely feels that the truth will out. The truth is on your side. I mean, there, this can sometimes appear when there's revelation, when there's truth coming out. Truth about somebody, maybe, in terms of what this loss. This could be lost jobs as well. Lost, you know, that kind of energy, some bad feeling. But the beautiful thing is, there is the birth of something new here. And this is the sort of truth, the universe giving you this sort of truth. Uh, giving you your recognition, your honour, your power, really telling you that I don't feel this was your fault, Aries, in truth, even though it might have been made out to be your fault. The universe recognises truth. And the Knight of Wands, it feels like change is coming your way, positive change, fire energy change, because the Knight of Wands is either somebody bringing in an opportunity that brings change, to you, so this can sometimes manifest in job offers, um, uh, something that ignites your passions and desires, something that you want to give a go to now, you know, it's that kind of energy. It is some kind of opportunity that promises growth, that's exciting, that's electric, that's full of potential. That's what the Knight of Wands is bringing into you. Um, cannot, if this is your energy, Aries, the Knight of Wands, this is, it's the green light to go, uh, taking charge getting some inspiration and again very much about getting back on your horse very quickly taking the reins of your life and charging ahead and sometimes with the knight of wands it's kind of like thank goodness i am leaving that situation behind me i am not looking back i am going to manifest something new in my life 
and the Empress is the birth of something new. She is very good in terms of money areas, in particular money career finances. She's also very good in terms of obviously relationships, love romance relationships. It feels in this situation it is to do with money career finances, Aries, because I just feel this is the, the, an empowered energy of you being fired up, and I mean really fired up with the Knight of Wands. It's fiery, fiery, fiery energy. Almost kind of like the untamed fire energy of, you might well be so angry about this situation that you're kind of feeling this energy of, I'm going to show them, you know, I'm going to go for what I want, you know, that kind of energy. And it definitely feels like there's potential to manifest something new here. Like I said, she represents the birth of something new, very good in terms of money, career, business in particular. So it could be some opportunities coming your way that establishes you back on your horse, bringing you in the victory. It's a strange turn of events happening here, I have to say. A very big turnaround. Either some truth is coming out about somebody... Or it definitely feels in this energy, you are taking action to turn your life around. Where you've been knocked, it feels like that warrior energy, the warrior sword. I'm going to get up and I'm going to charge ahead towards a new phase of my life, new beginning. And not look back. And again, it feels this can be associated with some opportunity um, coming into your life. So very beautiful energy. Because the Page of Swords is it feels in this energy I'm going to clarify this Page of Swords let's clarify this Page of Swords it feels like you're just Yeah. Let's get a card first. Just one, please. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'll do a couple more shuffles if it doesn't appear. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. The, the message here with the Page of Swords... Aries is you are going to overcome the challenge but focus on the things that are going to bring growth into your life positive change this knight of wands change um, and that's what the perspective is with the page of swords giving the new a go putting your focusing your mind your thought patterns um, towards the new because the seven of wands is a card of of um, overcoming some kind of, of challenge or obstacle and again with this five with these five energy there's a tendency to be caught up in the disruption of it all you know I did say mentally didn't I I did say emotionally this can disrupt your energy and that's what that page of swords is doing it's saying cut cords it is the beginnings of something new the beginnings of change and it is a change, almost kind of like change your perspective. Focus on the new. Focus on what this Ace of Swords is bringing into you. A new door, a new opportunity. Um, an epiphany, an idea of where you need to go now. How you need to manifest the new. Um, or breakthroughs in terms of opportunities. And that's where you need to place your focus. It feels don't... Because that's how you overcome the challenge. The Seven of Wands is a card of challenge, but somebody or a situation having challenged you, and yet this person is on higher ground, they are higher than those that oppose them. So it definitely feels in this energy, that's how you gain the advantage, by focusing on how you bring growth and change in your situation now. And that's what the High Priestess is asking you to do. You're being guided by spirit. This is very much intuitive energy. Through the waters, again, of our emotions, she is our inner guide as well, telling us the direction we need to focus, telling us how we need to um, 
intuitively move forward in our lives. You know, this is like an intuitive guide energy. So I definitely feel for some of you, this is about listening to your intuition, your inner knowing now, you know, and that's how you overcome this challenge that you faced. Because there's a tendency to, to look back or a tendency to be caught, in the, caught up in the negativity of the situation. And it can be very consuming, five energies, you know. I like this because that's exactly what Spirit is telling you. I mean, the Seven of Pentacles is good things come to those that are patient. It's a card of perseverance, keep going, because you are going to make headway in a situation. So it feels very beautiful. Um, it's a card of growth. can also be about put your time and energy in what's going to make you bring you growth and don't waste your time on things that aren't worth your time. Because the Eight of Pentacles is the beginnings of, or is certainly where there's change in terms of success, reward, opportunity. Um, Eight of Pentacles can be an internship energy, apprenticeship energy, skills development energy, um, can be in terms, if you're looking at the job market, what's going to make you more attractive, you might be learning a new skill or a new trade even. You might be wanting to branch out in a different area than what you've done before as well, Aries. The Eight of Pentacles is a card of doing the hard work and focusing on the practical things that you need to do will bring you reward long term, uh, will bring you gain long term, material gain, financial gain. Um, sometimes it is a card of being recognised by others as well. So possibly some recognition is coming your way here, Aries, in terms of getting notice for what you do. It feels very beautiful. I'm going to clarify this Three of Cups. Let's clarify this Three of Cups, please. Let's clarify this Three of Cups for Aries, thank you. Let's clarify this Three of Cups for Aries, please, Angel Spirits Guides. Thank you. How oh, interesting. So I have the Hanged Man reversed. And I have the Ten of Wands. And it's because of that, the Five of Swords again. It's this Five of Swords energy that is just really... You know, it feels like this is really clouding your judgment here or it is really interfering with your energy. The Hanged Man... It's interesting, when the, the Hanged Man can sometimes be certainly upright it can be about when we need to look at something from a different perspective because if you look at something the same way as you always have done you're just going to stay in this five energy and again this is a card of carrying burdens of the past and the need to make space for the new the ten of wands energy um but it feels in this energy with the hanged man reversed you're finding delays. It feels like there is opportunity coming your way or change is coming your way and then I'm feeling delays. And again, there's the energy of, of good things come to those that wait here. And then, you know, this can be a card of celebration, joy, you know, the winter's over, the spring is here. But it feels like there's delays here. For some of you, you might be experiencing delays or something might be delayed here. And the Two of Pentacles is... It's a card of feeling a little bit overwhelmed, Aries, the Two of Pentacles. I mean, it can be financially. It can also be to do with 
there's a lot on your plate you're putting so much effort into it definitely feels like manifesting a new opportunity or manifesting a new beginning and definitely I feel like there's some breakthrough and then I'm getting delays here and there's a message keep going at it keep persevering because you will get recognized you will get noticed you will get the reward um, so even though it seems overwhelming with this two of pentacles sometimes we see a person juggling and dancing at the same time it doesn't mean that it's not within your ability to to to, to deal with this the two of pentacles always says yes you have multiple priorities yes there's a lot going on in your life yes you might feel a little bit like treading water trying to get balance back in your life as well but this feeling of being overwhelmed is well within your capability to manage so know that you have the skills experience knowledge to manage this situation and deal with it so i'm going to pull a card for this two of wands at the end aries let's clarify this two of wands Clarify this two of wands, please, for Aries. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the Hierophant is have faith. Have faith. Yeah. And I have the King of Pentacles at the bottom of this deck. Two cards of Taurus which is all about stability, security, safety, material success. So you're being told by the universe, even though something feels a little bit overwhelming, there's, there's delays here. Keep going at it. Have faith because you are being guided, watched over. And the Two of Wands is a card, and it definitely feels in this instance, Aries, but it's a card of the beginnings of progress, can be to do with decisions, could be between two opportunities, two paths, um, planning your future. It feels in this situation, Aries, there's a kind of message of go for what you want now, take the, take the risk in terms of going for what you want now. There's definitely an energy of keep persevering here. And again, the King of, of Pentacles is a great card of, of trust as well. Um, security, stability, safety. It feels something's hit you financially. There is some kind of breakthrough here. And then I see delays. But I see also that the beginnings of progress in a situation where you felt like you've been treading water. So it felt like something was happening or something is happening. And then there may well be some delays which is why it's difficult to move on from the past because there may have been some delays here that you've been dealing with in terms of maybe getting opportunity. So let's get one more advice card for Aries, please, Angel Spirits Guides. But the message is that there will be progress. Yeah, Three of Pentacles, the beginnings of success. This is somebody who is manifesting success. It's one step away from the two of pentacles. One step further, sorry, from the two of pentacles. So we've gone from a two to a three. So again, what, what I was saying is, you know, even though something feels a little bit overwhelming, and it might well be because there may well be some delays ahead here, the three of pentacles is you will manifest the beginnings of success. Um, this can be in the form of, you know, the beginnings of working for somebody new. Uh, could be this King of Pentacles that we saw before, who could be an offer, an opportunity again. So it feels for some of you, Aries, that this is the beginnings of success, the Three of Pentacles. The beginnings of rebuilding your life. It's the, it's the boost. It feels like this cosmic boost in your money career area is coming your way the ability to start manifesting something new and it feels like in a new business so there are some delays but again the king of pentacles which I've, I've taken the deck off again king of pentacles can represent somebody in business offering you something a solid offer opportunity or that's you being on the path 
to success, to manifesting money success. And again, this Three of Pentacles is the beginnings of that success. It feels very, very beautiful indeed. So it's definitely coming your way, and that's what Spirit is saying. It's just that there may well be some delays ahead. So first card I've got is healing. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. And I'm going to pull one more card. Yeah. And, you know, this feels very much like the energy. You might have lost something, but you're going to find something else. And that's what that Three of Pentacles is telling you. There may well be a few delays. It might be around the Christmas time. You know, it might have been to do with the pandemic, Aries. But the message is that it's definitely coming. So keep going. What was once lost is about to be found. Thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realised were lost. So very beautiful energy. Very beautiful indeed and quite poignant in that lost and found card for you, I think. The message is don't let this negative energy of the past cloud your judgment or cloud how you move forward. There's definitely an energy of now is the time to be fired up to take action because there's some perseverance here that's needed but that three of pentacles is definitely saying the success is ahead the success is coming your way after some delays that you may experience i love the energy for that reason so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you aries and i will see you next time thank you